Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center, and thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we're watching two different areas. First one is this little area that's uh, just to the south and southwest of Bermuda. About a 30 to 40 percent chance something is going to try and develop with this over the next couple of days. But i got to tell you, the window is really starting to close on when this could actually do something because as we get into the first part of next week, sometime around Sunday, this is quite likely going to start to interact with a cold front. Once it does that, it just conditions are not going to be favorable that anything would happen with this. You can still see it's a very disorganized system at this point, but we'll continue to watch it. Still, it would be no threat to the U.S. at all. And then, now we have this. This was Invest 95. This has now been upgraded to Tropical Depression number two. You do see the spin with this, and this is uh, pretty far to the south. Uh, look at the location. 10.2 degrees north, 41.4 degrees west. It's moving westerly at 35 miles an hour, or I'm sorry, it's moving west at 16 miles an hour. Winds are at 35 miles an hour. Now, you look at the track of this as we go through the next several days, and this is quite likely going to become Tropical Storm Barrel, but then you notice the track just basically ends on Sunday. And that's because as it nears the Lesser Antilles, conditions are just not going to be favorable. There's some strong wind shear in this area. So this system is quite likely going to just dissipate as we head into the week. And computer models just continue that track on towards the west, towards the Lesser Antilles. It'll spread some rains across that area and then over towards Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic as we get into the early part of next week. There you see that wind shear. Notice how strong it is once you get uh, close to the Caribbean and that is what is going to pose that problem for tro tropical depression number two. So we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.